Well, guys, thank you so much once again for tuning in to my YouTube channel this week. This week's going to be a little bit of a different uh, episode. As you guys know, it is off-season here in South Africa, so we like to get the off-season training going. Um, I love to do this sort of um, intense training scenario, especially over the weekends, like a Saturday or a Sunday, where you wake up, your environment's relaxed, but still putting you into those difficult, hard positions to make those shots. So, <clears throat> before we get going, uh, just a big shout out to MTN Ops. Thank you so much for kidding me out with the MTN Ops Ignite. I'll be taking this 30 minutes before I get into the gym. Um, I love using this product when I'm out in the bush. It really just helps, helps me get that intense focus in, especially in the most difficult scenarios when your heart's racing and stuff. So, I love this product. If you guys would like to find out more, head along to my social media platforms, click on my bio, click on my link tree, and you guys can find out more. And this month, MTN Ops is giving away a unique opportunity for you guys to hunt a once in a lifetime elk. Um, every purchase uh, adds into the entries, and there are a couple of other options where you guys can increase your chances of winning this unique hunt. Well, to get going, once again, a big shout out to Magnum Archery for kitting me out with the PSE Magnum 375. I'm super excited. I've just had this thing set up. Um, we're gonna be doing 20 yards, 30 yards, 50 yards, and then 60 yards intervals today. Um, I'm super excited about it. Of course, we've kitted it out. We've kept the Fast Hog um, Eddie adjustable sight. And of course, my Cam Haynes uh, Spot Hog uh, trigger release. So I'm excited about that. And then, um, yeah, we've got the carbon core arrows as well. So guys, um, yeah, this is a pretty unique setup for me. Uh, something different. I haven't done one of these in, in ages as far as I can remember. Um, so bear with me. It's an exciting journey. And uh, yeah, hope, hope you guys can take some takeaways from this. So we'll catch you guys in the gym in a little bit. So this is kind of where the important thing starts, you know. So we set our watch here on cardio. We want to give it a good 20 minutes of just constant cycling. Um, I choose cycling because obviously through some of my, my sports injuries, um, it's made it a little bit harder for me to do, um, you know, the treadmill or something like that. Um, weights can also be used. I just feel that you want to try and rest your upper body for the ultimate performance outside there. <clears throat> so I choose the cycling, I give it about a three minute warm up and then uh, try and get that heart rate up. Uh, we like to get it yeah, in the region of about 140 beats per minute and then um, just kind of maintain that and then get out there and, and pull off the shots. One of the most important things is I try and keep my mind busy, uh, I've got my iPad going uh, I've watched some of my favorite bow hunters on the YouTube channel. Um, and yeah, just, just keep everything going, just try and get it, everything as much as, as relaxed as possible. So it's important now to understand that my heart rate is going to drop from the 130, 140 mark in the next minute, minute and a half to just over 100 beats per minute. That's kind of where you're making your optical, your optimal, sorry, um, shot. I wouldn't like to get it down there, so I'm going to try and keep my heart rate up, try and make this process from transitioning from the back to outside where we're going to pull off a couple of shots as quickly as possible so that my heart rate is still up, understanding that I can still do the movements and make clear cut decisions even though my heart rate is at an all time high. So if I do find that my heart rate has dropped when I am out there, it's just a simple case of dropping down, doing a couple of push ups, building an upgrade and try and take that shot as quickly as possible. So the transition now from the back to uh, where we're going to shoot the bow is ultimately one of the most important transitions. So 
ultimately nothing really changes you still want to make sure that you can correctly range get yourself into that 20 yard position put three of these in trying to do as much of the concentrating as possible you owe this animal the ultimate respect so you want to put in as much effort as you possibly can shown to you in the in the previous shot things aren't always going to be perfect you're going to be tired your shoulders are going to have seen better days um, my heart rate now is staying at the 140 mark and this is probably the most um, simulated sequence of events that you can do um, preparing for out there and ultimately the more you do this the better you're going to get the more fit you're going to become and hopefully you know make those cleaner shots when you are feeling fatigued when you are feeling overwhelmed and the heart rate is pumping so we had 60 now i'm not expecting magic uh, i just want to basically hit the butt um, and then the more i do this obviously the better i want to get my grouping so for now my final three arrows into the bat it takes pure concentration to get to this point even pulling this bow back now is challenging and it's kind of like a golf swing you kind of you know when you're pulling this bow back you're conditioning your brain to think about all the basics that you've been going through all this time trying to make clean shots and that's it guys three out of three on the bat not a perfect grouping but the more we do this the better we're going to be <laughs> So guys, well, that brings an end to today's training. Um, yeah, it's been, it's one of those things that you just keep getting better at. And ultimately, you know, for me, the more I do this, the better I become at it. And like I said, I keep saying in the episode that when I'm out there, those animals deserve my respect and the way I can give it to them is making sure that my body is in the most peak condition it possibly can for fair chase because ultimately that's what it is about us it's in it's bred within us it's primal instinct and we've got to embrace that we've got to embrace that as human beings and this is often my argument to people that don't agree with hunting is that embracing it and, and understanding it is what our society needs and understanding that this is part of our instinct this is part of who make, what makes us humans and like i've been saying in, in a couple of podcasts as well as a few interviews that i've had in the past is that what sets us apart from any other species on this earth is empathy and killing is not what us hunters enjoy it's the pursuit it's the work ethic that we put in behind it it's the respect for the animal it's the chase um, all those sort of things make us a hunter. It's primal instinct. The killing is probably the worst part of it all. And we show empathy to that animal. We show respect. It's not always easy. And that's why you want to make sure that when you're out there, you make the perfect kill shot. 
you make the perfect shot so that animal doesn't endure significant suffering. So right now, I'm going to recover with a protein shake from MTN Ops. If you guys would like to find out more about their products, head along to my social media feed. I'll tag them in the, in the description below. But once again, guys, for myself, thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode. I really appreciate it. I would appreciate a thumbs up if you enjoyed this episode, as well as a subscribe um, and turn on the notification bell. And if you would like to recommend this to any one of your friends, family members, anyone that wants to get into bow hunting, please, by all means, all the support I can get is greatly appreciated and it really just helps my cause going forward. So from myself to my fellow hunters up north, happy hunting. Until then, stay safe, stay blessed and stay humble. We'll catch up with you guys soon. Cheers.